I've recently started enjoying to bring back at home my, my work, or at least part of it. But there's a major problem with this, due to the fact that I mostly use Access and Stata. I got no problem at all with Access, because I do have the license for Access, but I got a pretty big, I would say huge, problem with Stata. The license for Stata is very expensive, we are in the ballpark around a thousand dollars for what I, I need to do with it. Therefore, I've decided to switch my main gear, to switch my workflow from Stata to Air. Air is an open source software, which is totally free, and I can use it at home, at work, with my Mac, with my PC, with my main rig, or even with um, a smaller PC. But switching from Stata to Air is not a really easy task. I mean, they are both pretty hard to, to be used, but after a couple of years switching completely the workflow can sometimes be pretty difficult. Therefore, I've decided to invest some money into macro keypads just to make my, uh, my switch a little bit easier. I've started by buying this 3 by 3 Of course, I can use different layers, but um, let's say I don't want to uh, constantly switch layer and so on and so forth. Therefore, I've decided to go a little bit bigger with a 4x4 four four matrix, 16 keys in total. But again, I am not comfortable with a, a limited number of keys. Of course, I know I can buy a new keyboard and remap it, but this is not what I like to, to do. Still, I pretty like the sound of these red switches. I have to be honest, uh, they are not brand name red switches. But the, U, the, the connector is a USB-C connector, which is perfect for, for my my needs, let's say, uh, which honestly it's a function that I will miss. Because what I've decided to do is to make my, uh, my, uh, my macro pad and therefore I've designed this frame. I have to be honest, I didn't properly design it from scratch. I saw a video from uh, another YouTuber called Matteo and I decided to, to write to him and ask his help. He has been really kind and has sent me all his CAD works. I took his design and I tweaked it in order to uh, make it um, better for what I intended to, to do. So I designed I, a 5x5 five five matrix with 25 keys in total. While I was writing with Matteo, while I was talking with Matteo, Matteo told me that if he had to come back, he would have changed completely. He, he would have made his macro pad in a totally different fashion, in a totally different way. And now that I'm starting to, um, to work on my design, I totally understand him. In fact, I'm 
gonna assemble it, I'm gonna use it because it's gonna be functional for, uh, for a, a prototype, honestly. But me also, if I would have to come back in time and redesign my macro pad, I would have changed several stuff. I will post all these files on my uh, printable page. You can also find me as the, the key guy. And if you want to redesign everything from scratch, I would like to give you some advice. First of all, please um, make, let's say, um, this part, the, the lateral part, um, smaller and use the base of the plate to make the, the side. Otherwise, and you will see in a bit, when you are going to solder the switches, you are gonna have a pretty uh, bad time. But I would like to point out that uh, differently from Matteo's sketch, from his first sketch, my design is pretty solid. I didn't, um, I didn't choose, I didn't pick some crazy spec or some crazy infill. I just um, make all the, the space a little bit bigger in between the, the keys and the thickness of, the, of this grid a little bit uh, heavier, uh, but the infill is still around 20%. All the frame is pretty rigid and I think that we can, well, we can work with it. To run the system inside, there's this Pro Micro. I would like to, um, again, make a different version of my macro pad and I really hope that I can uh, use some ESP32 and use uh, his Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection, especially the Bluetooth connection. And again, his micro uh, is um, USB-C, which is way more comfortable than this. I think it's micro USB, I don't call me on that. Getting back to my first macro pad, better my second macro pad, I would like to point out that these red switches have served me pretty good, honestly. Therefore, I picked another set of red switches, no brand name, no major brand name. I'm pretty sure that these are Zorro red switches, but not totally sure about it. Anyway, let's start by adding the um, brass fittings for screwing in all the, the, um, the screw that will um, secure the base and the frame together. I'm using this M3 6x5 um, brass fittings. I know that there are a lot of different options, but I'm pretty sure that these, gonna, these are gonna fit. <laughs> So first of all, my main entrance is gonna be here. So this is how the macro pad will, will work. I'm not an expert when it comes to switches. So I will try to use the same orientation as my previous. my previous keep my macro pad and so 
let's start. Oh, and by the way, being a prototype, being a, a unit that might not work at all, I decided to don't lube my switches. I know that most of you won't like this, well, this route, but again, if it's gonna work, I will probably make in a totally different way everything and I would really like to have some Bluetooth functionalities also because I want to be able to use the, the cable in the office and the Bluetooth uh, with my with my Mac when I when I am at home. Now is coming the hardest part, which is to connect all these uh, pins together. Again, if you want to learn how to connect everything together, I will also post another link from Matteo, uh, one of his videos where he's showing how he connects his macropad, his first model, so you can watch how he, he did it, which is way better, probably. So after a few days it's ready, uh, I took a few days not because it was so hard to, to make it, but just because the famous Morbus which is around in this time took me, but let's, let's give a peek, let's give a look inside. This is the, the final product. I mean, of course, my wiring is very, very bad. And as I said in, in the beginning, and as also Matteo told me um, when we were speaking about his macro pad, if I would go back in the past and change something, I would make it completely different. Again, this Mm, border, uh, this, mm, these sides are too, uh, too thick and too close to the actual switch, so in order to solder it uh, I had to uh, burn a little bit of plastic and they didn't like it. Also, the, um, the port, the hole for the, the cable, it's too small. I thought that it was too big, but no, it is too, uh, too small. And uh, the Arduino Pro Micro, when it's um, pushed on the side, you, don't, you, you are not able to, to insert the cable inside. So I would 
do it again with a, a bigger hole or with some uh, recess just to accommodate the Arduino Pro Micro. Another thing in the bottom, I've done some hole for the screw, but I totally forgot to make some recess in order for the, the screw to be flat on the, on the surface. And yeah, I cannot put the screw, otherwise um, the head of the screw would make the, um, the macro pad a little bit taller on the, on the table. Also, it's a really pain in the butt to program, to program it. As right now, this is not compatible with VIA, this is not compatible with VIAL, this is not compatible with almost anything. I have to program it like by hand and this is totally a not go. I'm not uh, happy with it and I would like to to make it again. So if some of you have some knowledge in programming, in designing uh, or in whatever other things which can be useful for, for making a macro pad, please let me know. I want to make a better product than this. Thanks for watching. Again, thanks to Matteo. Feel free to like this video or to subscribe to my new channel and uh, see you in the next video when I will try to first design a new macro pad and I want to follow the lead of Matteo again and try to make my own keycaps. Especially I will uh, try to make my own keycaps with the legend. So subscribe and you will be the first one to know when I will post my new video. Thanks for watching.